Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you guys five exclusive apps for your Samsung Galaxy S10. And of course this could be for your S10, S10 Plus and S10e. So let's dive in and discover these five apps. Now to grab these applications, you're not going to go into the Play Store that is the usual norm. What you want to do is you want to go into your app drawer and then go to the Samsung folder and look for the Galaxy Store. And if you can't find it right away, just tap on find or search and type in and you're going to see the Galaxy Store pop right up. You tap on it and this is the store that we're going to get all our applications from. And of course, I'm going to give you the names of the application and every single time I give you a name, you can go to the search bar over here and just search for that specific application. So the very first application that I want to talk about is known as the car mode application. So let me just demonstrate. So just search for it. Oops, car mode. All right, tap on it and boom, it's going to pop right up. You go inside and to download and install, you simply click install and then open. Okay, and it's going to drop into your app drawer. All right, let me go to my app drawer and search for the car mode. I'm going to launch the application, show you exactly what it does. So you're going to have to do a couple things in the very beginning. And then after you're done, you're going to see this screen right over here. And then when you see the screen at the bottom, it says driving mode, you can X this out and just tap on driving mode. It's going to take you right into the actual mode. It starts in one second and boom, here's what we got. Now, what I really like about this mode is this is for when you are actually driving. You launch this, you put this on your stand as you're driving, and then you have access to all the basics. And you've got nice and big buttons to easily access messages, phones, music, and all that good stuff. And of course, if you tap on maps, it's going to launch the maps application. If you tap on music, it's going to launch the music application within the actual car mode app. Uh, you can go back from here, okay? And then if you swipe over, you also have a widgets section that you can also customize. So here I have my music, here I have my weather. And then if you tap on this one over here, it shows you the running apps. You tap on this one to go home. And you can even tap on this one over here to give it voice commands. And these voice commands are gonna be happening through the actual Samsung smartphone. It does not have anything to do with Google Assistant. Now the car mode has a setting screen. So if you want to access the setting screen, you have to exit the car mode by tapping this button. Just click close and then go back into the car mode right over here. Let me just go inside car mode. And in the, in the first screen, what you can do is you see the tip and you get, you see them find my car. So this is a parking utility. So if you tap on new parking, it's going to remember where you park your car. But what you want to do is you want to tap on this one over here and go into the settings and these are all the settings available for the car mode. As you can see, you have my places. You can set your home, your work. You can do general management, such as the language of the voice. Uh, you can go to display. Uh, you can actually modify the widget screen and also rearrange the apps. So if I tap on this one, I can rearrange the apps to drag them around just like that, okay? And of course, if I tap on this one over here, I can change the way the, the widgets look, the two widgets. And if I tap on this one over here, I can pick different things as you can see or nothing, all right? So it's a fully customizable car mode option. You can take a look at these yourself, all right? Let's move on to the next application. And by the way, the car mode is 100% free. All right, so the next application is kind of bundled with an application known as Good Lock. You may or you may not heard of it. So what you want to do is, again, just to be very clear, go to Samsung, go to Galaxy Store, and search for Good Lock, okay? Good lock right here. Go right inside and then install it and just open it up. And what I want you to concentrate on here is two things. We're going to look at two applications. You can look at the rest yourself. But the first one is the Navstar application. So if I go to Navstar, it's just going to launch it up. If it's not installed yet, you can go to the store from here and actually install the Navstar application. But we're not, we already installed it. I already installed it. So I'm going to just go to the Good Lock application. I'll launch it, it's packaged inside here. Go right over here, tap on this guy. And as you can see, after I enable this, I can modify my actual navigation bar. So I can pick all these different icons that just gives a nice little uh, customization. And the best thing is uh, at the bottom here, I've made some custom uh, navigation bars myself. 
So to do that, for example, if I do this one over here, now I can pull down the notifications panel right from here, okay? As you can see, I can even take a screenshot right from here. So that's just great. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to new configuration and then pick a background color, anyone that you want, and then go to button layout. You can do it right aligned or left aligned or add a button, okay? And when you add a button, for example, you can choose the screen off button and you can choose a camera button and then I can go to icons and you can change the icons and everything. You can change the transparency, adaptive colors and all that good stuff. Okay, so let me disable that and then click save. And now at the bottom, that new thing is gonna show up right over here. So when I go home, now I can actually turn off the phone if I wanted to, just by clicking that button, or I can actually uh, go to the camera right from here. Okay, and then these buttons over here, the back, the home, and the recent is gonna be right here working as usual as you can see okay so that's the uh nav bar under good luck right over here okay so let's open that again that's a very simple application to use once you're used to it now the other thing i'm going to talk about in this same package is the quick star application so again exclusive to samsung devices if you click on this one and again if you don't have it make sure you download it then you want to do what you want to do is you want to enable this guy and once you enable it, you can actually customize the notifications panel as you can see, okay? So this is a different notifications panel. I can pick this one here, click apply. So let's see what that looks like. Boom, all right? Click apply. That one is gonna be transparent, all right? Click apply. That's gonna be, so these are a bunch of presets here. What you can do again is you can click on plus over here. By the way, you can scroll over and you have even more options, but you can click on plus and create your own uh, colored notifications quick panel, okay? So that's absolutely fantastic. You can change the visibility of the indicator icons as you please. So you can hide stuff or just make it more visible. You can change the clock position. You can hide the clock. You can put it to the right, as you can see. So left, hide, right, okay? So that's fantastic. And again, if I click on plus over here, let's just pick red for a minute, click done. So that's the theme you get, and from here, you can change every single thing. So when a quick toggle is enabled, you can choose any color, like the red color. Uh, the off color can be this light pink color, and the font color can be this dark purple color, and then you can change every single thing. When I click apply, when I pull this down, that's what I got, all right? So another way to customize your smartphone right over here. So let's kill these two, go back to good luck, but make sure to download this and also explore these other applications that are all free for Samsung owners. Now let's go home. Okay, so the next application I'll be talking about is called the Sound Assistant app. So again, go to the Galaxy Store and download that. I'm just search it from here because I already have it. So I'm gonna type in Sound Assistant. That's the application you want to download from the Galaxy Store. So tap on it, of course, it's free to get. Uh, so with this one, uh, the biggest thing over here is if you enable the floating button, What's gonna happen is uh, you can choose three seconds. Let's just do uh, five, 15 seconds so you can see it when it comes up. So basically every single time you click your volume up or volume down, it's gonna give you a floating sound button. Let me show you that just over here. And when you tap on it, it expands to give you even more options. So I can control the volume from here. I can tap on this. It's gonna expand if there's anything going on over here. I can also tap on this one and allows me to access an equalizer if I so desire. I can also turn off and on my Dolby Atmos sound from here. And when I'm done, I can click on save and that's gonna save that, all right? Just allow if there's any uh, permissions required and give your preset a name. So again, if I click on this, uh, if I ch change this up a little bit, all right, just, just an example, if you're an expert in equalizers, and if you click on save, you can uh, save that preset uh, to use as you please and you can pick it up from here by tapping this button here. So you got uh, normal, pop, classic, jazz, rock, bottom, a uh, rock and custom that you make yourself that you're gonna name. Okay, but this is basically all uh, there is to it. Uh, let's go back over here. You, you, you get the floating button for 15 seconds. You can tap on it to get more information. If you go inside, you can even make it always visible and you would have all these options such as scenarios where you can tap on this and customize how your phone is gonna sound at every different location. So when you're home, how you want the phone to sound, when you're at work, how do you want it to sound? So if I enable this just as an example and I tap on it, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., you can actually put the whole phone on vibrate mode or you can mute the media, okay? So that's what the sound assistant can do for you and then you click save and then you're good to go, okay? So you can customize each one of these guys, then save it and then enable as you need. And you can even add more if you want to. So you can create custom scenarios where you would want the sound to have a certain preset such as maybe put the phone on vibrate, uh, kill the volume and stuff like that, all right? So that's the Sound Assistant app, exclusive for your Samsung. Let's move on to the next application and talk about the last application. Now this one is known as the Voice Recorder app. So you wanna go to your app drawer and go to the Galaxy Store and just download this. So search for voice and it's gonna bring up the voice recorder. And here we have a fantastic little voice recorder. We can do standard recording, we can do interview style recording and we go to do a speech to text. So as I talk, it's gonna convert it, it to text. So look at this. Hey, oops, let's click agree, click next. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Okay, so as you can see, it's doing it right at the bottom over here. So that's a great way to uh, convert speech to text. Let me go back here for a second, discard this. And also, I wanna make something very clear. So when you do standard recording, let's just record, as you can see, as I'm recording, things are just happening over here. That's my voice levels. Now, if you go back here, let me just uh, go back and discard and do the interview style and you start to record, it's gonna use two microphones, one over here and one over here. So if you're sitting on this side, it's gonna pick uh, voice from this side. If you're sitting on this side, it's gonna pick voice from this side. Because I'm on this side, you can see the bottom thing working. The top is not working, but if I tap over here, that's the microphone that's built to the top. So you can do interviews with this recording style. So that's the free voice recorder. And that was the last application that I want to talk about in this video. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.